all the valves and valve guides are out now um we've also caught sorted out the camshaft dad's now going to grind the valves in using this tool here which is basically um something that we plug into the compressor and it does it about 10 times faster than by hand Now at the stage on the uh, side valve engine that we've got the valves uh, all ground in um, we had to buy four new exhaust valves because they're taking a bit of battering so uh, we bought four new ones of them we ground them all in uh, they're all the seats are fairly good now they're not perfect but they're pretty good so they're good enough to run the car and should last a little while um, or should last a good while to be fair so next stage is we need to put some cam bearings in it because they were they were in a bit of a bad state so we now need to flip this over and um, fit some new cam bearings into that so we can fit the cam up. So we're just now going to fit a new cam bearing or new cam bearings in this block. I've now lined this uh, bearing up uh, to line it up with the holes and the slots so that they all come in the right place. The easiest way is just to mark it on the seam and then hope as it's being pushed in that it stays line straight up. that stays straight <laughs> yeah um i machined up a little uh knocker inner technical name obviously yeah <laughs> It's gone, oh yes, yeah, it's right. It's gone to there now. If you look, look down that hole now, that should be oh, 45, 45 degrees. degrees. Spot on. Is it? Yep. Right, so it's in the right place then. And with the big gap at the top. Right, so you can now put that pin in. Okay, we've now got all the uh, lifters all in. Just give them a little drop of oil, put them in. Now we need to set the gaps. So, I need to move me light, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Put the valve guides in. Two, they're two-piece valve guides in these. Push it up into the in the recess. A bit awkward in the corners because you can't you ain't quite got enough finger room like you have the rest of the the rest of it. That's well, probably why if you had little hands, probably yeah. a bit easier. I get my shovel hands off my dad. <laughs> we've got to push that down on the seat, and then we've got to get the need some light. We've got to get the gap right. We've got to check the gaps. <laughs> we've got to check the gaps here between the valve and the lifter, because if the gap's too closed and that doesn't allow the valve to come down onto a seat then that won't create a seal and that won't have no compression so the engine won't run. So you're going to get your feeler gauges out? So we now need to get the feeler gauges um, and push that down onto the seat here. Make sure the cam is on the back of the cam so it's not on any lift. Yeah, And then we've got to check the gap. So you just have to turn it over? Yeah. 
Yep. Right, now we've got the valve in place. We need to get the valve in, uh, the spring on rather. Um, this will give us the correct pressure to check the um, valve gaps. So we need to get this back in here. It's a good job they're not like modern engines where they where you can't um, squash them up. Are you ready? I can't remember how it goes in. That's it, like that. I can't. Then the stem. Yep. That's it. Perfect. We've got to have between. That's, that's a between best. 11 and 13, 13. valve. What you want is just a little bit of drag. So whatever you put in there, you want just a little bit of drag. Yeah, that's fine. There's a bit of drag on. There's a good bit of drag on 13. Yeah, and 12. You can feel feel both sides of the drag on it. So. Right. So you got to work your way through them now. Yeah. And then any ones that are that are too tight. Then we'll grind, grind them. Yeah, we'll put them in the surface grinder. We'll just take a little bit off the back of the valve. We might have to do that on the new valves that we got. Oh, well, that's a not. new valve. That one is, isn't it? Cast exhaust. Yes, that is. That's a new one, and that that's one's one of fine. the new ones. Yeah, yeah. They do come a set length anyway. Yeah. So, right, we'll get the next one done. Then get them all done and get this bit finished. Right, we've got the valve all in and these two middle ones are tight. Everything else we've got about a 12 or a 13 thou clearance which is just right or what the makers actually say but this one here is very tight we can't even get a two in it, a two thou in it and this one we can only get a seven thou in it so we need to take a little bit off that one and a little bit off the bottom of this valve Yeah, there's lovely clearance in there now. So that's the whole valve train now done. We're ready to start getting the rest of it assembled, get it in the vehicle and get it running. Okay, we've got the block back together, got the sump on, and we're now ready to put the head on. And this plate? Yeah, got front on. plate, all the gaskets, everything's done in. So we're now gonna put the head on. So we've got the head all cleaned up. Um, we've got the gasket here. So we're now ready to get that on and uh, Hopefully get this in the motor and fire Get all up. the manifold bolted up. Yep. You've got to nick them. They said just more than finger tight. You are. You haven't even nicked them. No. Well, no, not unless it's... Oh, yeah, because we've been pulling the rest down. It's then made these loose.
Right, so we've got the engine in now. I've just tightened up the exhaust clamp so the exhaust is connected again. Um, we've also, I've also done all the gearbox bolts up. They're all nice and tight now. Dad has been looking at the wiring, sorting out the earth and getting everything connected up. All we need now is put the negative earth battery lead on um, and then all the wiring sorted. We've just got to get the dynamo on and um, we've got the front bracket on as well, the, like the engine mount, um, a few other little bits and then get all the radiator back in, all the front panels, front end back together and then we should be able to fill it up with some oil, get some petrol in it and give it a run and see how it sounds, see, see if it goes anyway. Is he sure it takes that much? Because I've put all that in, I've put nearly half a bottle in. And it's only it's still showing up as dangerous on the dipstick. Dangerous? Yeah, it's got a little danger on it. Has it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll give it a chance to run down. Look, danger. Alright. Danger, Phil. We've done a little bit of investigating and it actually turns out that there's no fuel getting up to the car. So we're thinking it's a problem with the pump. So we've got another pump, we're going to get that on and hopefully we can get it to turn over and eventually start up. So we'll get that on now. So I think we're now about ready to try it again. Obviously we haven't got all the water system connected up so we'll only try it for a second or two. But I think we're about ready aren't we? Yeah, give it a try. And if not, the whole thing's got to come out again. And how many days do we have until the funeral? We've got one day. One day to actually work on it. So hopefully it all goes well. Right, choke still out? Yeah, leave the choke out. Right. Go on then. Ready? Yeah. Start it again. Right. Tell me when. Choke out still? Yeah. Hey, tell me when. Perfect. What? We've got oil pressing out then. Oil went all over going straight away. Brilliant. So we've done it then? Yeah. Yeah, all over now straight away as soon as we got as soon as the pressure got there. We cracked it. Okay, so um we've got most of the engine back together now. We've got the radiator in, all the water system pipes connected up, um also got the dynamo back on and the belt just on there as well. Um 
we haven't got much more to put together now. Uh, have we got any more wiring left to do? Um, just got a little bit on the dynamo. Right. So we can now start putting all the front grille and all the bonnet back on as well. So Dad's got that just over there. So all the front end is back together now. Ah, uh, excuse me. Got all the floorboards in and all the carpet. The carpet's had a bit of a refresh, and it? Had a hoover. Yeah. Dad's now going to take it for a drive up the road and just check that it's all all right. Leaking loads of water, so that's a good sign. 